entitled Sudan, written by Lila M.N. On March 19, 2018, history has seen a deep sorrow. Heart-ranting misery cling onto your heart, leaving scars. Regrets the departure of Sudan. Why can't we save Sudan? Why can't we protect all the ancient animals? There will be no other like Sudan. Sudan left us with lots of questions, monologues, seminars, debates, roundtables, research, findings. But we see little success. Are we good human beings? Or are we destructive animals too? Whatever we do or touch in the name of development, we destroy the earth. We impair our nature. We wreck the perfect structure of life existence. We devastate our own lives. We ravage others' life too. Sudan's ancestors hunted, poached, trapped, killed. Obviously, Sudan is the symbol of humans' destructive ends. We think we are the superior animals. We are the social living animals. Clustered in groups, ranking division, set up status quo. Ironically, we are the vicious animals. Sudan, the symbol of human's invasion. We shatter our dreams to make this world a better place. Colonists once hunt for fun, trophies of tiger's head, who's the bravest, who's the exceptional hunter, all for human stupid toy. With no apparent reasons, they killed tigers of Bengal. Now we realize. Sudan is dead. It's our own great and brutal acts that poaches. Sudan has flown to a land unknown to him, the land of snow, the land of winds. Sudan had never wanted to be in the icy land. Sudan lived a sad childhood. Poachers are evil, cruel, greedy, displaced animals, hunt animals, killed animals. For what? Money? Gold? Food? Animals of your own country's pride, supposedly to be loved by you. Why must the love of Africa do so of illegal trade? Men straight your only games to the superstitious people of the East. Wake up, everyone. Take Sudan. Sudan is a symbol of breach of trust. When we roam the forest, we open fire. Boom, boom, boom. The sound of gunshot deafening my ears, threatening my life. How cruel. Shooting four legs creatures, humans are cowards. You can wipe out the entire species. Who can do it better than us? Oh yeah, the meteor wiped out the whole existence of dinosaurs. Are we going to be the next meteor? We are the living bombs in the animal's world. The tigers are crowned as the king of the jungle. The lions are coronated as the king of the safari. And humans are seen as the saviors of the world. And yet, you wipe out the black western rhino. Declared extinct from the world. The northern white rhino lost its lastness on this world. Sudan, the symbol of man's colonization of the animal kingdom. The people of the East consume exotic animal parts, shark fin, rhino's horn, tiger's belly, unbelievable eaters of all sorts. Bones, eyes, whiskers, and teeth are used to treat ailments and diseases. So, do you think that insomnia and malaria or meningitis will disappear over there? Consuming tiger parts helps you, helping you to heal? Really? Are you joking? No, no, no. Don't, don't kill Sudan's neighbors. neighbors. The big cats, the tiger is a unique animal. The part of life has a pivotal role in the health and diversity of an ecosystem. A top predator, the apex of food chain, the iconic creatures, elephant, rhinos, tigers, pandas. Why must we care? Why must we protect them? Because they have roles paramount to our, our ecosystem, ecosystem, vital, salient, to keep the population of wild and lakes in check. Crucial in maintaining the balance between spray herbivores and the vegetation in the jungle. Humans love greenlands, and yet they destroy it every day. And what Sudan species do? They are the umbrella species. Their survival or demise impacts the survival or the demise of other species. Sudan is important. Sudan species plays a big role in the ecosystem. Sudan browse keeps the area streamed, making paths for smaller animals. Sudan's death is a tragedy for animals' conservation, and Sudan is a sign of human selfishness. Though Sudan slows to age-related diseases, don't forget, he has suffered human's brutality, human selfishness of having entertained, 
He was once in a zoo, a place is not to be called home. Now he's gone, but Sudan's time with his take of oil, potato conservancy, remains strong and near to their hearts. Sudan makes us think of our parts. Are we destroyers or saviors? Please don't forget Sudan. Sudan is a symbol of love. Sudan's passing is the message. It's time for a new era of conservation where traditional methods, habitat restoration, and anti poaching schemes, supplemented with emerging, high tech, state of the art methods, can help our treasured animals. Yes, science. The IDF, the stem cell science, and I dare to say it, Sudan provides the means to save the young. The yet to be born rhinoceros will save our new Sudan. We will. Sudan is a symbol of hope. Sudan, Sudan has Sudan opened the doors, the doors, the doors of love for our beasts, aqua, mammals, reptiles, and whales, who share the hopes from Sudan's gift to humanity, dignity of caring Homo sapiens. What is left for Sudan's legendary is hope for others. In virtual fertilizations of Sudan semen undoubtedly creates the circle of life. Please come back into Sudan. We will wait for the good news. We shall have the success of the new family. Oh, of Sudan, Sudan oh dear Northern, Northern White Rhinos, please stop the safari again and complete the cycle of life. Thank you.